<sighs> All right, boys and girls, it is your boy Tigu, and I know the background's a little bit different today, and it's not as good as normal, but I want to take advantage of this natural sunlight, this beautiful sunlight that's coming out of the window, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just such a nice day outside, and we got some nice jazz music playing in the background just to accentuate the mood, guys, because regardless of what's going on in the world right now, like today, over here where I'm at, it is a beautiful day outside, and I'm about to go work out. Obviously, the gyms and stuff are still closed, so I'm just gonna be going to the park, bringing my dumbbells, bringing my bands, and hitting this leg workout. But I do want to try. I've been really hyped to try out this pre-workout, and one of my friends has been recommending me this to try, <laughs> recommending this for me to try for a long time. And I finally got my hands on some of it, and I was just like, man, it's just sitting there. Like, I want to use it. So this right here, guys, is what we're gonna be trying. It is. Look at this, boy. The Bucked Up brand pre-workout. This is just their basic, basic pre-workout, I think. I got a little sample pack from them. Uh, they came with like this and some other stuff. But we're going to be trying this today. My friend really was saying like, you know, this is a, this is a very good pre-workout. He was talking about all the um, uh, ingredient formulation and stuff. You know, I really don't know so much about that. I just take it, try it, see what it tastes like. Because it's got to taste good to me. And it's got to make me feel good. That's it. Like, I don't look at all the scientific whatever. Although, the interesting thing about this is that there's deer antler extract in here. So, I don't know, I hear, I hear, he said that like that's supposed to have positive effects on things like uh, testosterone or whatever, but you know, it's not necessarily proven as of yet, I don't know. Anyways, whatever, we're just gonna try this, we're gonna taste it, get a flavor test going on, we're gonna, and I'm gonna let you know how I feel. And uh, yeah, but without further ado, let's uh, get to the test. So first thing we're gonna do is open it up and take a little whiff test. The flavor here is blood raz, so I'm ex like, I feel like that's raspberry, it's gotta be, you know? That's what the cool kids are saying, just calling it raz. So let's open it up, take a little whiff, and see if it smells like blood raz. Okay, tear it open, easy tear. Ooh, a little bit of smoke flying around. Don't worry guys, I got this big bowl right here to make sure I don't just make a mess on the carpet over here. Let's take a little whiff. Oh, I didn't open it up enough. Open. Nice, easy tear package. It is open now. Let's take a big whiff. Okay. Just smells sweet. <laughs> yeah, smells sweet. Nothing, nothing that really stands out. Okay. All right, and now let's mix it in with my water here. So like I said, I'm not gonna take the whole thing right because we're not going to the gym and hitting crazy weights or anything. We just wanna like get a little bit of the effect in here and get a flavor test up in here. So there it is. Here's my water. Let's pour it in there. <laughs> All right, we got it in there. Let's seal it and shake this thing up. All right, let's not overdo it as to piss people off. <laughs> there we go, shaking it up. It's not, it's kind of settling a little bit. See, oh, it's trying to settle a little bit. I want it to dissolve a little bit more. I don't want powder at the bottom, that's gonna be nasty. Okay, we've got it all. It looks like it is fairly dissolved now. So let's get a little post shake up whiff test because we all know they can smell it a little better when it's melted up or dissolved up. Let's take a smell again. Okay, okay, now, now you're getting some more distinct smells. Still smells sweet. It doesn't smell like fruit punch. It does not smell like fruit punch. It smells sweet. I don't want to say it smells like raspberry just because I know that the flavor is blood ras, but it just still smells sweet. It smells like candy, all right? All right, let's take a little, let's transfer it. We're going to pour it into this uh, Starbucks cup. This is going to be for the placebo effect, make it seem a little bit more um, just like juice-like. We got the ice in there because, I, you know, if you watch my other reviews, you know, I like to enjoy my pre-workouts. I don't like to just chug them. I don't like to just chug and go. I like to enjoy them. That's why the flavor is so important for me. Anyways, let's get that pour. Nice pour. Let's not spill. Ooh, yeah. Boom. There we go. It's looking pretty nice, actually. This is looking pretty nice. Looking pretty dang good up in here. All right, guys. It is the moment of truth. Now we're going to be doing the flavor test. This is the Bucked Up Pre-Workout uh, Blood Raz. Let's get that taste. Here we go. Whoa. 
<laughs> whoa, whoa. Mm. Wait a second, let me hit that again. What the? Wait, let me let me just take a sip straight out the cup. Kick a, let me just take a sip straight out the cup. <laughs> Woo! Cheeks are cracking. Okay. Okay. This it doesn't taste like fruit punch. It tastes. It's obviously sweet, right? But there's a... Now that I'm thinking about it more and more, because I literally, I was just at my parents' home and I, I had some raspberries, actually, to be honest. And um, this, once it, like, as soon as it hits, there's like half a second of sweetness and then instant tartness. And if you've had raspberries, you know that's pretty much what it is. You eat a raspberry, it's like a little sweet, and then you get hit by this tartness, right? And that's actually what this does. Hang on a second. Yeah, like this... It actually does kind of taste like a raspberry. That's crazy! As you like think about more and more of the, the flavor of raspberry, the distinct flavor that a raspberry has, that's different than just fruit punch, different than strawberries like that, you know? Because the tartness really defines the raspberry, I feel like, and... It has it! That is crazy! Alright, so now let's just let's stop fronting. We already know after tasting this, this is gonna, on a flavor scale from 5 stars, guys. This is a 5 out of 5. Easily. This is really tasty. Like, this is so. It's easily sippable. Like, it's got that sweetness, right? But then that tartness is. It's a unique. You know, you don't get. Like, you get like a kind of a fake tartness out of some other pre workouts, right? But this. It tastes like the tartness from an actual raspberry. That is crazy. Now, I don't know why they called it blood. That's just kind of creepy. But, yeah, this is good. This tastes really good. Wow. And... The thing is, is like... I like to just sit here, chill, you know, relax, sip on it. Oh, this is tasty. Wow, this is really good. Yeah, so guys, easily bucked up pre-workout, blood razz. It's going to be a 5 out of 5 for flavor for me. And remember, guys, it's not just the subjective, like, if I think it tastes good or not. If I think that they really hit their mark with what they're going for, like, if they call it blood raspberry and it tastes like raspberry or something like that, you know, that's, that's what they're going for. They're going to get a 5 for that, and that's what this is like. This is really good. So, guys, I'm going to take my time, you know, sip this, finish this up and then get ready to go work out. And then I'll let you know how I feel, like let you know how this affects my mood, let you know if this makes me feel any tingles, anything like that. And uh, we'll finish the other part of the review, which is uh, about how I felt taking this uh, a little later on. So see you in the next clip. By the way, guys, we forgot to mention this bucked up basic pre-workout. One serving of this is 10 grams and there is uh, there, uh, there are 200 milligrams of caffeine for one serving, so that's not too not too cracked out. I'm not really a big fan of just overloading with caffeine, anyways. So this is a pretty good, um, not crazy impact in the way of caffeine uh, pre-workout. All right, we're outside now at the park. Okay, so I'm a couple of sets into this. Oh, get this out of the way. I'm a couple of sets into the squats right now. I didn't get any noticeable tingles or anything. I don't feel any like crazy energy flowing through me or anything. I feel pretty awake though. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say I feel more focused or anything, but you know, granted, it's it's a little hard to tell exactly uh, the effect just because we're not moving like crazy heavy weight here, right? Um, during this time, so it's a little hard to judge how much it's helping me, like with the workout, or how much it's helping me move, how much it would help me move heavy weight necessarily, just because we're not dealing with that at the moment. But as for like negative, I don't feel any drop in energy yet. I don't feel too hyped up or anything. So, um, I mean, tasty good. So, so far it seems no negative side effects, but nothing on the crazy uh, high end either, so. Okay, I'm just gonna hop on this commentary to finish out my post-workout thoughts just because it was really late that day and I really didn't feel like busting the camera back out and recording because I had to make dinner and everything. But anyways, 
So this pre-workout, I will say that it definitely helped me feel awake. I did feel awake, but I didn't get any crazy tingles. You know, that could possibly be because I'm already a little um, acclimated to beta alanine, which is in this product. And this is not their um, super high stimulant or cracked out product. This is just their standard pre-workout. And I'm just telling you how I felt, okay? Not necessarily how you should feel, just from my personal experience um, on this day how I felt, okay? It, it definitely made me feel awake, that's good. I didn't have any weird like sluggishness or coincidentally like getting more tired because that would happen. There's a certain pre-workout, I can't remember which one, but when I took it, for me, it like made me feel like more tired. I, I, get, a, I get a really big rise at first or just a rise at first and then suddenly it's like, I feel kind of like not motivated anymore, which is really not the point of a pre-workout. But at the same time, this bucked up, pre-workout it didn't give me a massive spike in focus for example redcon one's total war when i took that one i felt super focused i felt super confident 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 and competent because of that focus um didn't really get this from the pre uh, bucked up pre-workout but at the same time like i did say you know at that time when i did try the other pre-workout uh, we were still with uh, the gyms are open oh the gyms were open and i was going for heavy weight on squats and things like that nowadays um, focus is still good just because, you know, getting out there, being motivated and uh, engaging in what I'm actually doing when I'm not moving the heavy weight, it's still important. But it's not the same kind of like I need this boost in confidence or I need to be focused so I can be confident or else I literally won't be able to get the weight up. So it's slightly different. Um, but, you know, all in all, I would say that if I wanted a pre-workout that was not really strong, you know, just something that would help me feel a little bit awake, give me a little bit of energy, um, then I would definitely go for this bucked up pre-workout. One, because it did give me that uh, slight energy, that awake awakeness without um, any kind of crash or weird effects without getting too cracked up. But at the same time, just the how good the thing tastes man like this pre-workout tasted really good i'm like very curious to try some of their other flavors as well now to be honest um but yeah so i'm gonna have to say you know effect wise i don't want to say out of five or anything because this is not a definitive uh you know it's not really an objective uh review you know because it's just how i felt so it's kind of subjective so I don't want to give it some kind of rating, but that's how I felt about it. And I definitely think that it's worth trying out if you don't have, you know, a, uh, you know, like just a pre-workout that you just go to just in the pocket pre-workout. Definitely try this bucked up pre-workout. It works pretty well. It tastes really good. I haven't felt any negative side effects. So that's going to end this video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.